Hi boys and girls, Miss Noble here and today I'm going to be reading a story to you and it is called We Don't Eat Our Classmates. I think that's a very silly title for a book. And what kind of animal do you see here on the cover of our book? It's a dinosaur, right? I wonder what kind of dinosaur that is. Let's find out. Okay, so we don't eat our classmates. And I thought this would be a great book to read since we're gonna be talking about different rules for when we're on the computers in class and for when we're back in the actual classroom. So here we go. The author is Ryan T. Higgins and the author is the person who writes the book. All right. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. So she's a T-Rex. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches. So there's her pony backpack. And there are her 300 tuna sandwiches. Finally, the big day came and Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates, uh-oh, all of her classmates, what? <gasps> were children. A T-Rex going to school with children? Could you imagine a T-Rex walking into our classroom? Woof, or signing on to our teams. So she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex, said Miss Noodleman, we don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. She ate them. Look how mad her teacher is. Oof, look. look how mad her teacher is. And look how full her belly is, her mouth is. So she did. You. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. sit here, she said. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. It was lonely. Poor Penelope. She's sad, huh? When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe sort of just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. They gave Pen that gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Amato again. 
and they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? And guess what this word says right here. What does it look like Walter is about to do to Penelope's finger? And it says, chomp! Hmm. There we go. Eee! Cried Penelope. He's eating my finger! Wah! Oh, she is upset. Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. Stopped eating her classmates, even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you. Want a brownie? I helped make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. Ooh, look at that face. Mm. And Walter the goldfish stares right back at her and licks his lips. <sighs> because dinosaurs are delicious. The end. Oh, and look, there's Walter hanging out in the back of the book, right? So boys and girls, what I want you to think about after we read that. So the good rule for Penelope is we don't eat our classmates, right? That was the title of the book. And that's the rule she learned after, after that, what happened to her. And after she got bit by Walter, that we don't eat our classmates. It's not nice. So I need you to think really hard about what another good rule would be for school. Okay, so we don't want to bite our classmates. That's number one. So you have to think of a different one. Your rule can't be anything to do with dinosaurs or biting or eating. Okay, so you are going to think of another rule and you're going to share it with me later. Okay, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.